As you know, several vaccines will be getting the FDA's emergency use authorization. What happens after that? Jack Watson joins us now in studio, having spoken with Dr. Mendoza. Jack. Adam, let me first start off by saying that vaccine likely won't get here for quite a while. The state, in fact, saying that uh, a late summer arrival for critical mass is what most experts predict. But for the county health department, the preparing starts now. Well, we're planning as though it's right around the corner. Dr. Michael Mendoza has spearheaded the county's response to the pandemic. And the response is one thing, but... When this vaccine comes out, that will be the new largest public health undertaking in recent memory. And here's how things will look as of now. When a vaccine does get approved and shipped, Mendoza says with the first round of doses, they should have just enough to meet the top priority. Health care providers and long-term care residents. Next, first responders. More specific demographics after that are still being worked on. In any case, Mendoza says we need to be mindful of our diverse community. I think the most important thing we can do is ensure that we have an equitable, equitable way of uh, uh, administering this vaccine across our community. The light at the end of the tunnel is the vaccination. A point echoed by Governor Andrew Cuomo today. The governor stressing the need to distribute the vaccine to black and brown communities which have been disproportionately hit by the virus. Cuomo also saying how expensive it'll be, hoping the federal government picks up the tab. The states are not in a position to fund the vaccination process. The states are running deficits. The federal government hasn't even funded the current deficit. But Cuomo says the goal line is in sight. Dr. Mendoza sees it too, but at this point we are still at midfield. Adam, all of this to say we are still a long way from what the governor calls critical mass being vaccinated. But until then, Dr. Mendoza says it's imperative to keep following those safety guidelines, Adam.